Hey guys, it's Miss Sissy here. I want to apologize that I've gotten behind on these videos. I'm so sorry if you were depending on me and I wasn't there for you. Um, we are actually adopting and the past couple weeks have just been a little busier than what I thought they would be with that process. Um, and so I just kind of didn't end up having as much time to do these as I thought that I would. Thanks, buddy. So I um, I am doing them now. So I have week 17. I also have week 18 pretty much ready to go. So I'll try to get those uploaded today. Um, and then I'm my plan is this weekend to get week 19 up, possibly week 20. We'll see if I can get that far ahead. So without further ado, week 17. So I'm going to start with geography. Um, we have the rivers this week. And the rivers are a little more difficult because they're not a spot that you can pinpoint and just say circle here or put a star on that because... They're rivers and they're longer. So what I decided to do was let the kids come up to my board after we've gone over them originally. And I'm gonna give each one of them, um, well not each one of them, five of them a marker because we have five rivers, so a different color marker. And then um, let one of them be a timer and one of them be the announcer river color outer person. That's an official title, you can look it up. So <laughs> anyway, um, but I'm gonna let uh, the the person that's calling them out, you know, call out the river. The first person in line will run up and trace the river. Then they'll call it the next river. The next one will go and trace it up. And we'll see how quickly we can get all the rivers and um, trace. And the person timing it will obviously time it. And then we'll see if we can beat our time each time. If we can get faster and faster at labeling the rivers and tracing them. So I haven't done this, obviously, because I'm recording these before we're doing them um, in our community. So if you do this and it does not work at all, shoot me a message and let me know that that did not work at all. Um, I think it will work with my kids. I think they'll like it. Um, they really like when they get to come up and write up my board. They think that's like the best. Uh, I think they like pretending to be the teacher. So anyway, we'll try it and see if it works. Um, hopefully it will. So, English, it's our last irregular verb tense. I mean, I love verbs. They're wonderful and awesome, but I might be kind of glad this is our last one. <laughs> so we're gonna get the agility ladder back out. Um, for the agility ladder, basically, we chant the verb tense and they hop to each part of the agility ladder as we're saying the verb tense. Previously, I had been putting them perpendicular, parallel to my board, but I'm gonna put it perpendicular this time so that they can kind of be go going gone because that's what we're doing this week so we'll just jump on the agility ladder since i have seven kids it kind of works perfectly because we get through it seven sometimes eight or nine times so that'll be english for science i am doing the shake it off song um it's by shelly normand i believe that's right um if you look her up on youtube that's like the first thing that pops up for her so uh this week we have the next four, which is five through eight, and I believe the song goes, five, four on B, 11, C, carb, I say C every time, every time, six, carbon, C, 12, seven, nitrogen, N, 14, eight, oxygen, O, 16, it's a little high for me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely not a soprano, but that's okay. We just sing along with it and it's fine. Um, the kids, specifically my girl kids, really liked singing that last week. They all apparently really liked that song. But if you don't like the song, you can also do the clock, which is this. So this is a printable off of CC Connected. Um, and I put them in page protectors or like the shop ticket holders. And that way they can write on them. So, um... I intend to fill out this with the actual words, like uh, not the words, the names of the elements on there. And then they fill in the letter and the number in the boxes. So that's just another way to kind of get that in their brain. If they're not um, super sing song kids, they might like doing that better. Or if you're not a song person, you might like that better. Um, yeah, so science, that was science. Uh, Latin. Again, we are doing the King Things version of John 1, 1 through 7. And we this week we have in ipso vita, erat et vita, erat lux hominum. And um, we have our motions for that. So in English, that would translate to in him life was and life was light man. So um, we have in ipso, which is whom? Which is whom? 
<laughs> ipso 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 which is him and wita is life so life if you make two l's but then you turn your thumbs outward and then you kind of brush up your chest um i always kind of feel like it's like take a deep breath kind of like a big cleansing breath but we're gonna make l's for life so we're gonna brush up our chest like that okay so life and then we have was over there. It was a long time ago. Was and life was light. So we're going to make our light bulb shining down on us. Light man. Okay. So in English, it will be in him was life and his life was the light of man. Okay. So that's Latin. Um, for math, I am doing the geometry song. And I, uh, when I recorded this, the last video, I hadn't done it with my class. So when I went to do it with my class this week and started singing the song, they were like, hey, we know this song. We like this song. So even if they can't necessarily sing it by themselves after one year through, it is getting stuck in there and they do remember it. Because as I started singing it, they were like, oh yeah, we do. We know this. So. I was really, just for my own sake, I was excited to see that like my daughter remembered that from last year. So we are on the area of a square and the song part goes, the area of a square equals length of its side squared, side squared. And you have to, you have to do this and say it in a really high pitched voice according to my class. So um, the whole, the song so far has been geometry, geometry, Let's learn about geometry. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. The area of a squared equals length of its side squared, side squared. Okay, so that's where we're at with the geometry song. Um, the next thing we have is history. And so for history, this sentence was a little difficult for me. I, I even called my mom to see if she had any ideas and she is not a CC person. But she, and all she had was, well, the only thing I can think of is doing a U for you boats. And I was like, thanks, Mom. That was really helpful. Hey, do you need something? Okay. Good job. Okay. So what we're going to do, um, I just decided we're going to try and act it out. This might be a little too young for the older classes, but I think my class will like this. We'll see how it goes. So um, I'm just going to let the in 1917 part be itself and then I've got one of my husband's um, suit coats for President Wilson so we'll have President Wilson and then I have this really awesome gavel for Congress I don't think they really use a gavel in Congress I don't know that's more of a Supreme Court thing I'm thinking but I have a gavel and we're gonna use it so um, this is actually my gavel from when I was the Secretary of State in 1997 for Junior Kentucky Youth Assembly. You know, I mean, not saying I'm real special, but I'm pretty important. So, um, I have this for Congress and then declare war. So I'm just going to have them like, like they're going to declare war even though they didn't. On the central powers, so for central powers... I have, they will not wear all of this, by the way. I just don't want to take it off right now. So I've got a superhero cape because, like, superpowers kind of sounds like central powers. So we have the central powers. Um, and then we have the German U-boats. It's not really a U-boat. It's a tugboat, but it looks, it's a boat. That's really all we're going for. German U-boats sank the Lusitania. Killing American citizens, and I have. Can you tell I have boys in my house? Um, Captain America for the American citizens. So we've got that. So I'm just gonna let like let them decide who they want to be. I'm not gonna tell them what I have for them. They'll just kind of tell me what part they want to play, and then we'll switch it up. We'll do it a few times, sing it through, and they'll just kind of jump up when it's their turn or put their cape on when it's their part of the um, song. So, that's history. I told you guys I was kind of reaching for that one. Timeline. Um, if you guys have not, if you, if you don't use your timeline cards or you just use them and like mix them up and do stuff, let me suggest if you've not tried it, 
doing um, like hide and seek version of timeline cards, which is where you hide them around the room and then you sing the song while they try to find all of them. We've done that the past few weeks and my kids have thought that was really fun. Um, so if you haven't done that, I would suggest trying it. Um, I don't have a lot of places to hide mine, so I don't know if I'll do that again this coming week, um, but it's definitely something to do every once in a while. Um, so for timeline, we have Napoleon, so we're going to make an N, and then we're going to change that to an E, crowned emperor, and it's like the sash. It goes from your shoulder to your hip, emperor of France. So this is an F, and France is fancy, so we go like that with it. Of France, then we have a liberation of, so we're going to like, we're in chains, and then we're going to break out, South America. Um, so this is A for America, so here's North America, and it's down here, South America. Then we have the War of 18, 1812, we're going like this. And then we have the Missouri Compromise. I'm really sorry, my camera's shaking. My kids have decided that they all have to be under the table that I'm recording on, and they're bumping the table. I'm not under it. Okay, you're not under it. You're next to it, also somewhat bumping it. Then we have Immigrants Block to America, okay? And we have the Monroe Doctrine and the Romantic, which you make a sad face, an happy face, period of the arts, because the Romantic period was super dramatic. So, we have a sad face, then a happy face. So, that's timeline for week 17. So, thanks guys again. Sorry that I'm just now getting this up, but I am going to go ahead and do week 18. So, hopefully we'll get caught up. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.